Okay, let's look at one other table problem. So why in this problem is the temperature of a pie that has been removed from a 450 degree oven? So it's the temperature and we're it says we're talking Fahrenheit, so that's your units. Uh, y is a differentiable function, so that means Y is also continuous. Uh, here's the table represents a couple different temperatures every five minutes. So first question, use the table to find an approximation for Y prime. So I want an approximation for the derivative of Y or the slope of the temperature at 18 minutes. I don't have, a, I don't have an equation, so we're not going to come up with an exact value. But the best estimate is going to be using these numbers because that's the closest to 18. So y prime of 18, and again, this is an approximation. The best estimate is going to be the slope between those two points. So I'm just going to do y of 20 minus y of 15 over 257. Oops, sorry, the y values are on the top. So on the bottom, I should have 20 minus 15. So this is going to be negative 7. On the top, we're using our y units, so degrees Fahrenheit. The bottom is our minutes. So that's what I get. And then my interpretation. So when we interpret a derivative, it is what's happening at that moment in time. So this is saying at t equals 18 minutes. And what are we talking about? The temperature of the pi. And... I always explain the negative or the positive. We're talking about a rate, so it's a negative. So we're talking, it says it's decreasing at a rate of seven degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Okay. Next, it says, use the data from the table to find this deferent integral. So we're trying to figure out this. Again, I do not have an equation. So we're just gonna do it in terms of y and then use the values from the calculator. So the antiderivative of y prime is y, and then what do we do when we have bounds? We plug in the upper bound, subtract the lower bound. Both of these numbers I have from the table. What is y of 25? It's 226. y of 10 is 338, which gives me negative 112. Both of these are y values, which so is talking about the temperature. So this is saying, Right, so an integral is over in a time interval. So explain this first. So from t equals 10 to 25 minutes, what are we talking about? This represents temperature of the pi. Went down, right, because it's negative, by 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Or you could say dropped or it cooled to, something like that. Okay, the next one, I am given actually an equation for the temperature of the pi. So we're not going to use the tables from the val values from the table anymore. So W of T is the temperature, and then T is the uh, time value, which is minutes. It wants me to come up with W prime of 18. So we're just going to use our calculator here. So use your calculator, just practice doing that with the calculator, and this is the value you should get, and units would be degrees Fahrenheit per minute. Lastly, use the model in part C. So we're going to use the equation that was given. And I want to know the time at which the temperature is 300 degrees. So W is the temperature of the pi. So I want to know when is this equation going to be equal to 300 degrees. T. Okay. All of this is going to be calculator problem. So I have an equation. We can solve an equation on the calculator. Type this as y1, type this as y2, find the point of intersection, and that will give you your time value, which should be 14.189601. You just need to think about what time value makes sense, right? We're trying to get to 300 degrees, and your y value that you're trying to hit is 300, so you want to make sure your window is um, set up so you can at least see 300 on the calculator.